Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical. Today we're going to discuss and I'm going to share with you, in fact, you're going to be seeing right now a little bit of the missions work, a little bit of the humanitarian aid work that you do. Not that we do. This is, uh, this is all you're doing. This is when you make a purchase from Bone Tactical, these children are who you're really supporting. So just kind of uh, wanted to share that because, well, I'm very thankful for what you guys are, are doing. And uh, I'm very thankful that you guys have, I'm actually watching this vis video with you right now, speaking on it. And we originally shot it and made a Spanish version because it's down in Honduras. Uh, as you know, there's 140, 150, excuse me, children that would otherwise be, they're way below poverty level. They wouldn't have education opportunities, schooling opportunities, clean opportunity even drink clean water or eat good food. So this facility is a facility that we've built the, along with the Church of uh, Church of Christ, uh, Pinalejo Santa Barbara. Okay, so currently where we're working with these children, like I said, we started a program in conjunction with a very good friend of mine, Tanya Harazano, and she is the daughter of one of my best friends, uh, Don Lido Harazano. You guys have seen him in some of these videos, his son, Jose Manuel. Anyway, she is uh, was given a, a opportunity to start this. In fact, the, the Pastor Correa, the pastor of the church, a uh, pretty crazy story. His wife was gunned down recently in a neighboring town, uh, just happened to be buying something at the corner store and uh, some, some drug dealers uh, fighting over territory. Stray bullet uh, killed Pastor Correa's wife. And the night before she died, she had written down this plan, this vision of supporting these children that would otherwise uh, have no chance at a future. Wrote it all down and passed it along. And, and Tanya ended up getting the notes. And nobody had the, the means to make it happen. No, nobody had the money uh, that was that cared to do this, right? This is uh, one of the poorest places on earth. Um, like I said, the the church just, you know, they were over over stretched with what they were doing. They they had they just didn't have the financial resources to do anything. And Tanya began praying, and at the same time, the the Lord actually put it on my heart to reach out to Tanya because I knew that she was the leader of a women's group at the church and ask her if there were women that didn't have support mothers that that didn't have support uh financial support of a husband in the house that that we could help and she said uh as a matter of fact there is as a matter of fact uh i've been praying for for funding for this so uh this was many years ago now several years ago now uh obviously but that's how it all started and we began just uh, giving to, to, to Tanya and to the to Church of Christ and specifically this program is what we started and, and Tanya runs the with the ladies you see here uh, and along with the women's group she runs the the day-to-day -day operations and I unfortunately the way that I look at it is that I, I have to you know I manage my business and then I'm supporting financially I don't have unfortunately the time to to be managing day-to-day -day operations although some of my you'll see oscar who's my general manager in honduras at our at our honduras base of operations and he takes he plays a very involved role in this he's a member of the church pillar of the community and and he is kind of the the go-between for when i'm not able to be there although i do i am involved directly just not every single day so in this particular case we were able to build this building by these chairs and then bring in some specifically this event that we're filming right here we brought in some medical doctors and were able to give treatment to these uh, 150 children that we're supporting like i said we now are able thanks to you guys to give education food shelter everything for these children and, and it's 150 right now but there's a lot more there's a lot more children well below the poverty line. And if these children didn't have this opportunity for you, from you, then the opportunities that they would have would probably be limited to stealing, uh, being malnourished, 
barely getting by to survive, you know, working with a machete and, and on a farm somewhere, um, making, you know, a couple bucks a day, just not, not just barely scraping by, right? And not having anything. And, 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 you know, as you can see here, you know, they've got shoes, they've got pants. None of these kids had shoes. None of these kids had clothes that didn't have holes in them. None of these kids had food. We, per, we give provisions, weekly provisions to them, and then they make, they make them last for the week. It's still, we do the best we can, but we're still not, uh, you see it's all used clothing that we give them. It's difficult to support, you know, um, so many needy people, but we're doing great work and, and I believe you're, you're making this possible. So I'm, the reason that I'm filming this video is they, you know, they asked if we could film uh, this particular thing so you guys could see what what your donations actually this is not even donations this is so a little bit about me about bone tactical and I don't generally tend to discuss this but I was asked by the church to of Christ there and um, Tanya and Pastor Correa to share what I am my role so that uh, they wanted to you know they wanted you guys to be able to see uh, what's going on and what you're doing to help so Basically, uh, I, I personally, my beliefs on, on money and, and finances, uh, this will probably blow away a lot of people, but I don't, I don't have any money in the bank. Um, I really never have and, and probably never will. If, if I do have money, I, I use it to, to support uh, the, the needy, um, do what I can and what, what God's put on my heart. You guys know I'm a Christian and um, I struggle you know, daily in my faith and, and in, in my walk with, with Jesus, like all Christians do, but I have been able to, so far through running Bone Tactical, to, to not take a salary for myself and to, to do things like this. So it, it, you may think, oh man, look at the amount of success that Bone Tactical has uh, because you know he's able to do all of this stuff as a surplus. It's not because of the amount of success that I have, it's, it's just because how, what I feel that I'm called to do. So you guys know that, you know, these gifts that these children have received, some of these children have never received gifts until they started, uh, you know, look at these faces. These the kids didn't know what to expect. They, some of them had never eaten a full meal, uh, you know, not a, a real decent meal. They're surviving on, you know, barely beans and rice. Now they're getting gifts. They're eating well. They're having an opportunity to be clothed, to have an education. That's 150 lives that you guys are affecting that are not gonna have to resort to gang activity, violence, drugs, uh, or stealing to, to make a living, you know, to survive or support themselves, or that, not are, that are not gonna just have to, you know, have a work, get paid and rubber boots and a machete your entire life just, you know, walking up mountains and, and, and pruning trees or, or doing, you know, picking coffee for a living and, and just literally only having enough to eat one meal a day. Eat, eating flowers off the trees, stuff like that. So I do wanna just say thanks, guys. That's, that was the whole point of, of this video. Thank you for watching. And questions, comments below as always. That's, it is what it is. That's what you get from Bone Tactical. Bone out.